Today we're going to be working on the hardtop for the Factory 5 33 Hot Rod version 2. Hi everybody, welcome to the channel about kit cars and other car topics. If you like what you see, please hit the subscribe and notification buttons below and share with others on social media. So I've been looking at the directions for a hard top. Besides moving it around, which is kind of bulky, it's kind of a two person job. Um, looks pretty simple. Drill a few holes, pop it on the car, get it aligned. Given that you get it aligned, go ahead and drill holes to the car, kind of go through this whole process. And so we're going to see how far we get and uh, let's dig in. All right, so I got the coupon, um, but having some alignment issues. So the way this works is this line that you see here is supposed to carry on to this line here and go all the way down. And you can see that I got that one pretty good. And you can see here that, you know, it might come out an eighth of an inch or whatever, but that's pretty good there. And then over here, we got the same thing where you can see this line kind of comes down and just continues on with the line of the door. So that's all pretty good. However, when we come over to this side and we look, you know, this is not perfectly aligned. And so if I align this and get that nice in alignment now, like it is now, and we come over here, this is still like, I don't know, it's lined up to here. So that's like a good quarter of an inch off and so it's not lining up at all. And you're supposed to have weather stripping on this, which is fine, but there's a good half inch, three quarter inch gap there, which the weather stripping is not gonna fill in. So, you know, I know you bolt this thing down, it's gonna compress, but how much? And maybe it's just because of these, these lines need to be sanded down. In fact, now that I'm saying that, that's probably exactly what it is. So, but pretty huge gap in the center there. And you're supposed to drill from one hole into the other. And you can see kind of the gap of light over there. So I'm not too sure about this. This is kind of where I say, you know, I don't know how to make this stuff work. And now that, you know, we're having issues with the valance on the bottom, 
we're having issues with the side panel coming up to like here instead of down here. You know, my grill only moves a quarter of an inch one way or the other. That ain't it. And so at this point, it's pretty much throw my hands up and I don't know, take it to a body person or get my buddy Greg to come over. So what I thought was going to be all this time spent doing body work, which don't get me wrong, I've gotten most of the cut in done, except for these last few parts. Well, I should say half the cut in done because this is half the car, hood, sides, valance, and the, and the hard top. So kind of bittersweet moment right now, but uh, just going to pull this off, stop, and then see uh, when I could get someone over or hire someone to help me work on this because there's only so much I could do. So it's a different day, and we're going to try to go ahead and clip off that little area on the hard top and see if we could uh, just grind some of that stuff down and see if it'll fit better. And I'm going to try see if I could actually move this thing myself. All right, so I got the top onto the car. Um, so I can't lift a lot of weight. So I'm always like trying to figure out balances and leverage and stuff like that to get stuff on there. So I was actually pretty surprised I was able to get it on there, but I was. Uh, it's pretty, pretty bulky to do with one person. Um, so anyways, it's lining up a lot better uh, compared to what you saw a few minutes ago. And I'm really ecstatic about that. It looks great. However, it's not perfect, and so I don't want to drill a bunch of holes and just half-ass this stuff. I'm going to wait until, you know, I have someone that's done this before, kind of look at it and go do it with me. And so when it comes to the hood and the side panel and the valance issues, um, you know, I'm still doing a lot of tech support, but we're not figuring it out right now. So at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bail on all the body work. Uh, including final gaps in the doors and all that stuff. And I'm just going to set it aside because, you know, what happens with me is I want to move forward. And so I'll do something and then I'll be like, all right, well, I'm going to bail on the body work and now I'm going to go work on this. And then all of a sudden a tech support email will come in and be like, well, I'm, I'm so close. Let me just go off. And so then I get there and then I hit my head against the wall. And of course, you know, I'm still working and stuff like that. And so this is kind of like over two days, I'll get another email. Oh, okay, great. And so then I come out here and I try it and it's like, no, that didn't work. And then I send another tech support email. And then, you know, two days later, I get another one back. And I've just been kind of going in circles just because I work full time. 
So at this point, I'm just gonna bail on the body work. I got plenty of other stuff to do and I'm just gonna put it out of my mind. And even if I get some text support emails coming in, I'll get to it later when I get to it and that's just how it is. So I'll be pulling the top off even though it looks pretty wicked and mean right now. Um, I'm gonna pull the top off. I don't wanna drill any holes prematurely. Take that off. Don't worry about the side covers and all that stuff. I got pretty much the whole front to back end finish, but now I gotta still put holes in the dash for the gauges, stuff like that I'll do. Uh, mount the CPU, uh, fix the engine uh, where it's mounted, all those kind of things. So I'm just gonna move forward and uh, call it a day on this. Thanks for watching. Unless you're built like an ox. Don't try that, that was awful.